let's try to mess uh, this component okay this part and uh, it looks uh, pretty complex because uh, it has uh, you know uh, six layers different layers and uh, and then there is something more uh, let me show you something okay like this inside there is a conical shape part created in, in this part okay so this is pretty 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 much a complex part and uh, we will try to mess it and we will try to you know change the mess size and uh, mess type to do, uh, you know uh, correct the mess uh, sometimes mess looks weird or mess uh, becomes very bad so we will try to mess it as 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 uh, you know, uh, as good as it should be okay so let's try to mess it and let's plot it uh, okay we will try to plot later okay, okay. and uh, okay. let's try to mess it the first thing first is go to seed and we will assign you know size of the mess okay so approximate global size is five uh, let's try to reduce it first okay. so let's go uh, let's do 10 okay so apply it and you will see now go to mess and click part okay mess the part yes okay so this is pretty basic mess okay this is how you you mess it very quickly and uh, easily okay so abacus try to mess it automatically wherever it is possible and wherever it is stable mess okay so you don't need a uh, very very much tweaking that where should be this element or that. all those could be done but uh, that those shapes are very very complex where you should you have to you know uh, tweak something so uh, this is this is a uh, pretty simple i just mess it very complex quite complex part and very simply messed okay let's try to change the mess size and see what happens okay uh, let's go to sheet and click part now let's try to make it you know seven okay apply it and yes let's delete messes because uh, because we are assigning uh, new size so the older size and mess will be deleted so click on delete messes and click OK okay so new size has been assigned to the part now go to mess and click on part okay and now click yes so the part should be missed okay now you will see previously the elements were bigger now the elements are shorter that's that's that is the approximate global size okay that is a one one parameter which uh, you know uh, this is a you can say an average size of all the elements it's not that the ele every element is of that size it's basically an approximate size of the element just uh, average average size okay average dimension so this is how you change the mess if you want to uh, more refine the mess so you can go to seed and just reduce this number let's say uh, three okay let's try to make it three and go to mess again and part look at the mess now it is pretty 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 refined, okay. Very refined mess, white. Okay. So start with coarser mess and then get the results. If you want to refine, if you want uh, the results to be more refined, then refine mess. Otherwise, start with coarse mess, okay. Bigger elements, and then uh, you make it shorter and shorter and shorter as you want to. You know, uh, 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 you know, 
refine your results okay so finer elements give better results okay coarserness will give some you know uh, not better results okay so but but even then we start with the coarserness okay okay now let's let's uh, let's uh, increase the mesh size once again and uh, because uh, we want to see something let's make it seven okay go to the part and message now uh, let's go to uh, go to mess and let's change controls okay so we will we will be select the resistive mess control uh, let's select some regions what we can do i want to i want to change the mesh types for let's say this part only, okay just to uh, you know demonstrate it so click done and now here i can uh, select different different type of mesh hex mesh hex dominated dead and wedge okay so let's let me select that and uh, let's see what happens click okay delete mess so i have changed the type of element for that particular uh, you know part that particular area or reason so the mess has been deleted now now we can miss that by going to mess and to part and let's go to click the part okay now you will see the mess has slightly changed in the previous one look at the in the, in the previous one uh, this mess was uh, similar to that part okay let me uh, see this one. okay this this area this region mess uh, was similar to this region but now the elements have changed so the reason uh, the, the the mess uh, messing has been changed okay the the elements are uh, the shape of elements have changed okay now let's try to change one more time uh, let's go to control and let's try to you know, change this uh, this this part this reason okay so click done now i want to make it uh, let's say a uh, tent okay let's okay. you can choose hex and hex dominated anything just just play with that and uh, get the results the motive is to get the better results and for getting better results you have to you know experiment with the different different mess and get the results okay so and compare the results whichever you whichever mess gives the better results that is the you know mess you are looking for so you cannot say that i am going to mess it once and uh, I, I will be getting the better results you cannot say okay so we will what we do is uh, we mess easily first get the results then refine mess and change the element types and then experiment with the mess and then get the results and see if the results changes if the result doesn't change then we are going to go if results changes then we have to be very careful with the mess okay so let's go uh, let's uh, click okay click delete uh, look at that that reason mesh mesh of that reason has been deleted now click on this and click part okay now click okay and the highlighted reason mess failed to mess now look at the errors okay because i have changed the mess type here the messing has been changed here so the, the compatibility of the elements have changed okay so that uh, the, the the mess of this element this uh, reason has been deleted now we have to change the uh, element type of this reason and then uh, you know remess it so let's go to mess and control select this reason uh, and previously we have messed it using that let's uh, try again so let's try again and uh, okay done let's message 
I click yes. Now it goes correctly. Okay. So this is how we change mess. This is how we change uh, the mess type, element type, and uh, this is how we change the mess size. Okay. And uh, just one thing to be noted is uh, you have to experiment with the mess to get the better, better, better results. Okay. Until you get the better results, you have to experiment with the mess.